Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I'm up to date for UK Scrap Addicts and we are kicking off the new theme for the month for September of selfies. So this is really to encourage you to um, get in front of the camera and not just behind it as a scrapbooker. Um, it's important that we're in the photographs as well and this layout here is concentrating on photographs of yourself and so I snapped some silly selfies um, to really um, get a picture of me and what I'm about and that's basically not taking myself too seriously. So I'm using the Sparkle City collection which is probably my favourite collection of all time so far and um, I'm just mounting my photos on to some of the pattern paper from the collection so I'm just using oh that's a dog hair does anybody else with pets get dog hair or cat hair stuck in their um, glue runners drives me nuts um, yeah so I'm just mounting my photos onto this paper and I use this one because it's predominantly white um, and that's going to help those photos pop on that pattern paper background I did add some white ink splatters using a Posca paint pen and um, I've just left that to one side to dry. And I'm just doing one map behind my photo. Um, there's enough going on on the layout already that I don't need any more. And you see there that white surround really does help the photographs pop from that pattern paper background. And I did print my photos in black and white as well. Um, and that certainly helps when there's lots of colourful um, embellishments going on. Now this vellum, this speciality vellum from the collection, I have been scared to use. Um, and so I thought, right, I'm going to get it used on this layout. And I love, I love it. So I've just cut a five inch strip of that. And that is going to be the base for where my photographs are going to sit. So I did print four photos. Oh, excuse the train outside if you can hear that. Um, we live in a, um, a railway town um, and we're not uh, too far from the train tracks. So we constantly hear the steam trains um, whistle going off. So if you could hear that, then um, sorry about that. So um, next, I'm just going to work on my photo placement and I'm going to have them... Um, sort of higgledy piggledy. I don't know if that's a, a UK term. Let me know in the <laughs> let me know in the comments if you're not from the UK and you're watching this video. If you've heard the term higgledy piggledy before, um, so I just don't I don't want them straight. I don't want them uniform um, because that's not me. And I'm just going to mount two of them up onto some foam. This is just some cheap fun foam. And I added some ATG glue, but um, it doesn't tend to stay stuck over a long period of time. So um, I'm going to add some wet glue onto the foam um, as well to stick them down. So I put plenty of ATG tape on there to um, to try and help. And yeah, just some wet glue onto the back of that one as well. And um, this is a great way to be able to disguise the glue um, that's going to, the, the tape that's going to go on the back of the vellum as well. So because I've got a lot of photos across that strip, um, I'm going to add some red line tape just because the vellum is holding the um, the photos. So there's a little bit of weight on that vellum. So this is stronger tape to help deal with that. So I'm just putting it in areas that it's not going to be seen through the vellum um, from the front. So not a great deal of the vellum gets um, seen when it's layered behind, but um, I'm fine with that. I just like the little pops of um, holographic coming through. And I'm gonna center that um, or place that towards the top half of the layout because I want the bottom half to add my title and some embellishing. So this is the fun part. So I've had these stickers in my stash forever and um, I saw the keeping it real and I thought that was perfect to um, 
use these for my title and I used the thickest for another layout recently as well so um, you'll see these pop up a few times I'm trying to stash bash as much as I can um, I've not bought any of the new collections recently I've been trying to trying to be really good so using what I have rather than buying more and yeah so next on to the embellishing so I am using the project pad and there's a sheet of these stickers so I'm popping that one there that says you've got this and that one there does it say it's magical keep magical I can't see on my screen at the moment when I'm editing uh, or doing the voiceover so uh, you can see there what it says and then I saw these balloons so the balloons have no nothing to do with my layout um, but they um, they were fun and I, that's the sort of vibe that I wanted to get from um, from this layout it's not a serious one with the um, silly photos so just going through my um, sticker sheet there I wanted to use this camera I was going to pop it there as it was but um, I decided to cut the camera strap off of it and pop it up onto some foam what I should have done is put that sticker onto a bit of um, card and cut it out so it's a bit more sturdy but it's done now so it's on there as it is so yeah don't be scared to if you've got a flat sticker and you want a bit more um, height on it then just pop some Pop some foam behind it, but it's always best to probably stick it to some card and cut it out and then pop it on some foam. Um, so I wanted to use this. I think it's candy floss. I'm not too sure. Candy floss or ice cream. Um, I don't like <laughs> if it's candy floss. I don't like candy floss, but it, um, it doesn't matter. It's just an embellishment. So I'm trying to not worry about um, whether the stickers or the ephemera works um, thematically with my layout um, I'm just wanting to get things stuck down I'm never going to look at that again and say why did I put candy floss on there it doesn't matter so next up I'm going to use some of this washi tape um, from the collection and this is um, just because it's got cameras on and we're working with selfies this month and um, I was going to use another bit of washi tape as well, but I decide against it in the end because it's already starting to get um, busy. But the photos are still remaining in the um, as the focus of this layout. So I don't want to deta um, detach or is that the word I'm looking for? I don't want to um, take your eye away from the photos um, with too many embellishments. So and then I just use this little puffy yellow arrow. Puffy stickers, I think, are probably my favourite from this collection. Um, that's my second pack that I've gone through already. Oh, second pack that I'm on already. And then I saw this chipboard piece that says Up and Atom, and I decided to add that on as well. And I liked that um, at the same angle as that second photo from the right. So that went up in that little cluster up there. And then on the thickers... Um, these holographic thickers. Um, there's some stars on there and I thought I would use those as well. And I've got that one coming off the edge of the page and I'm going to just trim that. So, um, not everything is then contained within the 12 by 12. So, don't be scared to have things coming off the edge of the page and trimming them. And just looking through the 6 by 12 sticker sheet and there were these little... Um, I think they're just, yeah, I think they're all just one word sentiment. So I added those on as well. And then I decided to add on um, a pink star. And originally I put it that side. And then I realised that actually I needed to move some of the pink over to the left. So I move one of the holographic stars to the right and put the pink on the left. And then next I come in with some enamel dots I think yeah here we are so I'm just going to place these into the um, each cluster I'm using the red ones because there's that 
um, bold red colour on that chipboard piece at the top. Um, I'm trying to use some of the red ones to help balance that red colour out. And oh, and the purple ones as well. And that is the enamel dots done. And um, what I add on as well, which you don't see because I did it after stopping the filming, um, is that I did add on some of the Tim Holtz Tiny Word stickers. Um, and you can see the finished um, photos over on UK Scrap Addicts um, you, uh, Instagram and also on the blog as well, which will be linked below. Um, if you are watching this on my channel, then um, I encourage you to go over to UK Scrap Addicts and follow us over there as well. And we have a Facebook group. So that is it. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time. Bye.